Hi and welcome to the Hunter Tutorials. Um, I'm Rainier and I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of this game. I'm going to look at the different settings uh, that are available and how to bind your keys and how to move around in the Hunter. Um, uh, that will be it for this tutorial and next time I will go into the Hunter Mate and do some tracking stuff like that. Alright, let's begin. I assume you actually installed the game and know how to start it up, uh, which leaves you at this main menu screen here. You can do a couple things here, not too much. You can enter the reserve, which means start the game, leave the reserve, just quit it. Um, check out the credits here, uh, who made this great game, and um, change your settings. We're going to take a look at changing your settings first because I want you to feel comfortable with it. With it. Um, if you click it, you've got roughly two options. Change some mouse and keyboard settings and check out some display and audio settings. Let's check out this first. This is uh, fairly, yeah, fairly simple and straightforward. Um, gamma here defines how bright your game will be. Um, the more you click to the right, the brighter it becomes. You can also downscale a little bit. Just pick a setting that's comfortable for you. Um, you generally want this area to be completely white and this area to be completely black for optimal settings. Master volume is just uh, um, the volume of the game sounds itself. I put it down low for this tutorial because otherwise my voice gets mixed up with the game sounds which is not very uh, very handy. You can always return to the default settings by clicking this button. Um, Alright, let's go back. Now let's take a look at the mouse and keyboard settings over here. All right, you've got two types of sensitivity. Um, the main look sensitivity, um, which is the sensitivity when you walk around the island, do stuff and uh, call and things like that. Um, some people like the setting high. I generally have it pretty low. Um, I like more control in my movement, but other people like small uh, moves for turnaround and stuff like that. Just pick a setting that you're comfortable with. You can always press the escape key in the game and alter these settings at any time. Your aim sensitivity is uh, the sensitivity when you're actually aiming down your rifle. Um, this is always by default um, a bit lower than the look sensitivity because you obviously can't turn one hand 108 degrees around. Um, so just play with this setting as well, something you feel comfortable with. You don't need it too high because, well, uh, you're probably going to aim at one target at a time anyway. Alright, invert Y axis. This is uh, used for people that are used to invert their axis, um, which means if you pull your mouse down like this, then you'll actually begin to look upwards. And if you pull, pull, uh, sorry, if you push your mouse forward, um, you will actually look down. Some people don't want this and just put it to no, which means if you push your mouse forward, you look upward as well. Um, I've always learned to play with it inverted. Just uh, check what you like. All right, keyboard setup here. Um, this is an important screen because you can actually reconfigure almost any key that's used in the game. Um, if you messed up somehow, you can always press the default key and it will uh, return to its original settings. I personally don't like the uh, original settings, so let's take a look here. Um, as you can see, you can bind each action to two separate keys if you like. Um, I don't use it myself, I don't know if anyone else actually use it. You can see I use it here, but it's more um, a coincidence than actually uh, I thought about it. Um, for your primary keys or secondary keys, you can assign basic things like moving forward, moving backward, doesn't need any explanation. Moving left, moving right, this is sidestepping, so um, you turn with your mouse, but you sidestep to the left and to the right with your uh, keyboard. Crouch, left control, um, this just basically moves you from a standing up position into a crouching uh, position and then when you press left control again, you actually lie down. So there are three stages of, um, of movement. Um, you can pull yourself up again with left shift and uh, when you're lying down you always have to crouch first and then stand up again, we'll get to that in the game. Um, you can toggle uh, walk and run. Normally you don't want to run in this game because it just scares all the animals away. Um, but if you uh, do missions or have to get from A to B, it can be pretty handy. 
uh, the Toa auto move. This is a big friend, um, which basically means if you press this key, in my case it's the two or you know, middle mouse button, um, you don't have to keep W press to move forward. You actually move forward automatically and you just can, you know, you can make yourself some coffee and return again and you'll be a couple of meters further on. Um, this only works for uh, the forward movement, not the backward or the sideward movement. Use environment, currently it's only used to enter or leave um, hunting stands. I'm sure there will be more to follow in next updates, but right now it's only used for that. It's, I think the default is space, I just left it there. Alright, let's take a look at the weapons next. Um, okay, there are a couple of things assigned to weapons. First is the raise weapon. In this game you actually have to raise your weapon before you can aim, uh, aim down it or shoot it. Um, so that's mouse, mouse key one, just the left mouse button. Um, lower your weapon if you are aiming but just decide not to shoot or you want to reposition, you have to lower it, use mouse two. In this case the right mouse right mouse button fire weapon if you're aiming then it's just the same button as the raise weapon just the left mouse button as you're probably used to um, you obviously have to reload your rifles you do this with the R key if you want to do it manually if you're out of bullets and you put new bullets in your inventory in the ammo slot we'll get to that later then it will automatically reload one or more rounds depending on the weapon okay hold breath very important one um, when you're aiming down, down your rifle, you'll probably notice, and we'll get to that later, that your weapon is kind of swinging from left to right and up and down. If you hold down space bar for a while, you can actually hear yourself take a deep breath and it will stabilize the gun. It is your friend, especially for long distance shots and when your skill level gets higher. Um, okay, zoom in, zoom out. This is for scope guns only. If you use a scope, you can zoom in or zoom out. Um, not with every scope, but uh, most of them do. Um, these are actually assigned to F and V, but I just use the scroll button. It seems to work by default as well. Um, just, just reassign them if you want. Um, equip weapon one and two. You've got two weapon slots that you can use in the game. I've assigned mine to the number one, which is pretty close for my left hand, so I can quickly change it and my weapon 2 is currently assigned to the 0 um, I actually gotta remap my key someday but you know it's just what I'm used to alright then on to the items now items are everything behind uh, sorry everything but guns and things like that um, so here we go you can assign different uh, different sets of keys as well I just used one um, you can bring up your inventory at any time using the I key. This looks like a 1, but it's actually an I. Um, if you want to change it, by the way, just click on it. It will begin to blink the cursor and just tap the key you want it to use. I press the I again. Um, the inventory you can bring up any time during the game for switching guns, adding ammo, and things like that. But keep in mind that only when you're near a lodge, or um, yeah, only when you're near a lodge, you can actually get other guns out of your main inventory and your main inventory is actually all the guns that you have in possession but not with you at the time. Um, it will become more, more clear in the next uh, next screen we're going to look at. Okay, the equip item slot 1 and 2. These are primarily your uh, first and second collar or lures or sense, whatever you use. I usually have two collars here and I've got some sense in my backpack just you know so I can switch them during the game. Um, okay, equip binoculars, it's assigned to the Q. Um, for me, default is I think the B key, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't like it because you have, actually have to move your hand. Um, it brings up your binoculars, you're going to use these a lot. and You're going to spot a lot of animals without even hearing them, so it's a very, very valuable piece of equipment. Uh, the Hunter Mate, your big friend in the game. This is the portable device you've got in your left hand with the map on it. Um, with which you can track deer and animals, stuff like that. Um, I'll actually make a separate tutorial for that one because it's a pretty advanced piece of equipment and we really need to learn how it works uh, because it's got a, 